Okay, you guys are going to like this one. Part 284C3M1B7 C8E8. So line 22F1F A 19 c 3 m one b 7 c 8 e 8 UFO crash landing December 5th, 2012, Okawana, Japan, well setting. So there's the alien radio signal. Um, this one's about a UFO crash that happened, um, well, was told to have happened on the news, and I still don't know if it's true or not, but it brought up some really interesting things to go with the Wow SETI signal, okay? So it's a long distance, this is about the US UFO crash, a long distance deep space communication ideas come from this event, uh, Japan, December 5th, 2012. So it was a good thing, it, it brought up some other stuff for us, okay? So December 14, 2012, I was working on this, today's December 26th. The keyword research will resume after these two videos. See the previous video for long distance deep space communication idea how to send the WOW alien radio signal back to the Sagittarius star region and try and get another response from them. Yeah, I added some words there, sorry. So that one's in line 22 F1 FA 19 C3 M 1 B7 C8 E7 nonlinear time reversal deep space 6 E Q U J5 UFO 5G well study. So here's a picture of the UFO that everybody told us was a UFO that crashed in Japan, okay? And then I've got the live accounts. This is a quote from a blog, actually, sorry. Um, quote from blog. I was in such a hurry to get this done, I kind of missed a few things. Yeah, I still haven't figured out how to put my program in to 16 font so I can just read it. So we saw something like a small vessel with a dome slowly submerged into the water as we arrived at the scene, said Okawana Prefecture Police Chief Hidi, Hidi, Hideki Suzuki. We clearly saw smoke rising from it as it went down. There was a tremendous amount of steam get generated as it disappeared into the depths of the ocean. We anticipate investigating the vessel as soon as we get the equipment we need to raise it from the water. Good luck. As far as I know, it's been several weeks now and they still haven't figured out how to get it out of the water. I think it's alive and it ain't going to go out of the water until it wants to, if you want to know my personal opinion. If it's real. Anyways, they're not going to let you move it unless they want to go. Several eyewitnesses recounted what they saw. According to Nippon Television, an elderly man fishing off the coast in a small boat said he saw a giant fireball racing from the heavens at a very fast speed. The object streaked across the sky, smashed into the water, and then came back up in one piece. The elder man says he thought he heard the distant sound of motors trying to restart just a few minutes before the unknown object started to smoke. So, yeah, it was round on top and looked all metallic. It was very shiny and gave off red and green lights. I ran home as soon as it smashed into the water. So it's www.defense.pk. Location of UF crash was in the East China Sea. So December 14, my thoughts. This is what I call our rabbit trail. Investigating a UFO crash in Japan, December 5th, 2012. Interesting, we found some long distance deep space communication ideas with this event and an idea on how to answer the 60 QU J5 signal and hopefully get another response. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll go on to the next video.